Hello and welcome to From Our Garden. Out here to sow some more stuff. September sowing. Oh, really need to do a lot of work in the garden, taking things down. My radishes. 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 Get that orange one as well, I think that's just, yeah. Okay, get the one next to it. Good job. Is there any more in here? I think they're done, in it? Yeah, pick them and put them in there, pick them all. I don't think they're gonna ripen anymore. I've left them over for two weeks and there's not much. anymore in there. Nah, it's time to go. Time to go. Time to go. Goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye tomatoes. Thank you for giving us loads of tomatoes. No, it's still flowering. Oh, I think it's going to come though, so I'm cutting it down. Put something else in its place. Can you oh, there's some red ones there. Can you see it? Up there. Can you reach them? Yeah. I'll hold this. Well, how are you going to pick it? Okay, slowly. Watch yourself. Uh, let me bring it closer to you. Wait. The red ones, please. The red ones. Okay. The red ones up here. That's it. Good job. I see another red one. Can you see it? Lovely jubbly. Well done. It's starting to rain. We've already got some spring onions in here. Some radishes. Yeah. So this bed, going around it, I'm just going to put some kale, spinach, and some spring onion. Simples. So I'll tomato my stuff there. Compost it. That's it. Got my roses still going. Along there, I think. Yeah, along there. Right, the reasons why, ew, I feel like something was climbing up my foot. The reason why I put sticks there is because we have a few stray cats that hang about and then come and dig up, especially when it's like freshly dug mud. They love it, I don't know why, but they go in there, they'll do their little and then they'll put the mud over it and disrupt all the seeds. So I put the seed, I put the sticks there just as a, uh, what's the word? Deterrent or even a hindrance for them to try and even get in there and try and do their business, literally. So that's why I put the sticks there. It's not glamorous, but it does the job, I think. Done the kale. Now we move on to spring onions, yeah? I'm just gonna literally like put them across anyway. I don't know, that's what I do, so. And what else we got here? Spinach. Uh, I did say I don't want to grow any more spinach because of like um, the insects damage. The insects love them and they all like lay their little eggs. They lay their, they lay their eggs all over the spinach leaves and it was, it was like gross. I'm trying to clean it and I, 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 I didn't want to eat it because I, I don't know. But I'm going to keep growing them. Let's see. Yeah, that's my spinach. I might just put it just along there. The thing is, I, I, I sowed them last year around this time and they never grew. So let's let's hope they come this year. And the spring onions, that's it. Yeah, that's all I'm sowing for now. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, sorry, the spring onions. No, sorry, that's kale. The spring onions. Yeah? Right there, maybe along there, and a bit around. I like spring onions, so it's not gonna go to waste. Yeah, I went extra with the sticks. Can't be having no cats doing their business in here. Thank you for watching.